So since the 1960s, people have been looking for products that have the same or better muscle building properties as uh, testosterone, but with fewer side effects. What's up guys, Ferdinand here from WolfPhysique.com and today we're going to talk about Woo, something else, something else, totally something else than normally. Decadorabolin. Decadorabolin is an anabolic roid. So that's what we're talking about today. Oh, and guys, before I start off the video, I don't know anything. I'm just a natty, a natural guy who doesn't use shit and just likes science and coaches people who use shit, but doesn't do it himself. Shocker, like what, what the hell? But I'm not a doctor and I don't know anything. So I covered my ass just like that. All right guys, so Decadurbolin is one of the most popular anabolic androgenic roid that is considered very, a fairly mild type, like mild, 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 mild. Mild, a mild type. So decadurbolin is not a fast acting anabolic steroid, like the anabol, for example, which gets in your system like that and something you have to take every day. It also has less chance uh, for side effects. So that it can be uh, used for a longer period of time, like things like avoiding hair loss. I have this guy that I saw in the store that asked me something about <laughs> about uh, his first cycle, he wanted to do DECA only because he doesn't want to lose his hair, all right? But I'm not gonna really go into a DECA only cycle, I'll do that in the next video, uh, also the so-called DECA DICK. Um, not <laughs> oh my God, the stories, man, I have heard from, from past clients that did a couple cycles that I think by myself, like, why, why? All right, but uh, let me get uh, further into this. So Deca Durbolin is actually the brand name uh, of a modified form of Nandrolone. So it's actually Nandrolone. So let me explain about the hormone whose chemical name is 19 nortestosterone first, all right? The name already reveals that it is a molecule based on testosterone. And 19 nor refers to the fact that a carbon atom, this is gonna make sense, I promise, that the carbon atom has been removed from this testosterone molecule at the 19th position. It sounds very difficult, all right, but let, trust me, this will make sense. It occurs naturally in the human body, but in very small amounts, all right? About 0.4 nanograms per milliliter. So this is about 50 times less than testosterone. The degree to which an anabolic steroid is anabolic relative to its androgenetic, called the anabolic androgenic ratio, the benchmark for this is testosterone. So this has been given the ratio of 100 to 100 or one on one, scaled one to one or 100 to 100. The anabolic energetic ratio of nandrolone is 125, 37. So it has more anabolic properties than testosterone, all right? So, and it has less of an energetic uh, effect. So things like um, growing facial hair, um, hair loss, you know, the side effects you don't really want. So basically a 90 nor is actually, yeah, the, the carbon atom that has been removed from testosterone. So it doesn't really give you those freaky side effects like hair loss and all that shit that you actually do not really want. So yeah, that's, that's actually it. Just think about testosterone, 90 nor is testosterone and it has an atom removed, which gives the anabolic steroid different effects on the body than testosterone itself, because testosterone aromatizes uh, to estradiol as well. Like you need estradiol, all right? Men also. A lot of people think estrogen is estrogen and estradiol is like, it's not good shit. You, you, it's a female hormone, blah, blah, blah. I just don't want to get into it uh, in this video because it's going to take very, very fucking long. So 
I'm gonna keep it simple for you guys. I hope it's simple so far. So since the 1960s, people have been looking for products that have the same or better muscle building properties as uh, testosterone, but with fewer side effects. The nasty side effects of testosterone uh, have several uh, causes. The side effects are often related to the androgenic effect of testosterone, which enhances male properties. So the conversion into the female hormone estradiol and the conversion into DHT, dehydrotestosterone, um, nandrolone has all of these side effects to a much lesser extent. So nandrolone doesn't really convert to DHT and estradiol. So it gives you less side effects, doesn't it make sense? So basically it is less converted to estradiol. This conversion normally causes uh, fluid retention in men, acne and nasty things like bitch tits, gynecomastia, the lump on a nipple, which is also not fun to have. So nandrolone is converted to estradiol five times less than testosterone. So in addition, it is not converted into DHT, but into the weaker androgenic dehydronandrolone, which reduces the risk of certain side effects, such as baldness, skin, uh, postural complaints. Finally, partly due to not converting into DHT, which is more androgenic than testosterone, Nandrolone is less androgenic than testosterone. <laughs> so related side effects such as uh, prostate enlargement are also less common. So Nandrolone offers a few more benefits. It results in increased uh, ingression so that you can train harder and more intensively. It increases the level of the growth hormone IGF-1. This may contribute to the high anabolic androgenic ratio. So in addition, it increases the activity of androgen receptors, which stimulates muscle growth. So nandrolone is basically more anabolic. It builds more muscle than testosterone for a gram to gram basis. And guys, don't be stupid. If you're ever going to use shit, have testosterone as a base, all right? Have father testosterone in there and stack it with something else if you ever do a cycle, which I do not recommend, all right? And definitely do not do oral only cycles. I'm really no fan of that, all right? Put a card up in here so you can watch that as well. But uh, that's uh, the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like the video for this natty, all right? And uh, love all of you. Subscribe if you like this kind of content. And uh, yeah, see you next time, guys. Much love. And next video is about the Deca Dick. <laughs> Much love.